Hello friends, Tom Downey here for College Football Now with the latest AP poll. Let's break down the new top 25, which includes some changes inside the top five itself. So no changes in the top three. That makes sense, right? Bama, Clemson, Notre Dame. Those are your top three teams. Number four is Georgia. They slide up a spot. Oklahoma slides up one spot as well. And then to number six, here's your big leap. Ohio State jumps in to the top six. They are now number six overall after they blew out Michigan at home in the game. Number seven is UCF. They slide up. Michigan drops down, but they're still in the top eight because you got to put some two lost teams in there, right? Texas jumps up to number nine. The Huskies of Washington, now number 10. They leapfrog from 16 to 10. Florida now at number 11. They move up two spots. Washington State slides down five to number 12. The two lost Cougars, one of the lower two lost teams, at least among the Power Five schools, the lowest among Power Five schools. LSU now number 12. They are tied with Washington State. By the way, it's not a typo. They are both tied at number 12 with 818 votes apiece. Penn State number 14. West Virginia now number 15. They will not play for the Big 12 title. Kentucky at number 16. Utah at number 17. Syracuse number 18. Boise State, number 19. The Bulldogs of Mississippi State are number 20. And Northwestern is number 21. Then some new teams, AM, Army. AM's back in it again after they took down LSU in the game of the year. Iowa State, number 24. And Fresno State, number 25. Here are your top teams receiving votes. Utah State, they lost to Boise State. They slide out of the top 25. Missouri, a sneaky 8 and 4, by the way. They're up there. And then a big drop-off. NC State, Cincinnati, Stanford, and then teams that are really getting any votes. Iowa, and then one vote apiece for App State, Buffalo, and for Oregon. And those is, that's your new top 25. For those of you here joining us on Facebook Live and at Periscope on Chat Sports, Bama remains the undisputed number one. That's no surprise, right? Clemson, Notre Dame, they weren't going to change after they beat maybe a little bit closer than some would have hoped, i.e. mainly Notre Dame there against the USC. Georgia is now number four, Oklahoma number five. I'm not overly surprised by that. Not surprised Ohio State is number six as well. They take a big leap up, but I agree with the AP Pulsar, which I don't often agree with, that they should be number six behind Georgia and behind Oklahoma. UCF at number seven, that's not a surprise. Michigan, I think, is well-deserved to be number eight overall. I am a bit surprised that Washington State is only there at number 12. But before we get to that, though, who should be higher in the CFP or the AP polls? Well, it's all the same here. Oklahoma or Ohio State? I believe it should be Oklahoma. And, of course, the AP poll gives a good indication of what the CFP is going to look like. We'll look ahead here. Which team should be ranked higher? I think it should be Oklahoma. Similar schedules overall in terms of metrics. Oklahoma, though, has the much better loss. And, yeah, they almost lost to Army. Army's now a top 25 win for OU. So just like that, throw in one more top 25 win for the Sooners. Texas at number 9, as I mentioned. They'll play Oklahoma. Washington is now number 10. They'll play for the Pac-12 title against Utah. Florida's 11. Washington State is number 12. I think that might be a little bit low. I get that they lost to Washington. AP Bowl suddenly valuing head-to-head -head matchups. They didn't last week by putting Texas above West Virginia. Either way, the Cougars, they're tied with LSU at number 12. Penn State at number 14. That's OSU's second best win behind, of course, Michigan. West Virginia slides down to number 15 after a, a tough loss there in Oklahoma, a thrilling game as well. UK at number 16, they pounded Louisville. Utah beat up in against uh, BYU in the Holy War. Syracuse took down Boston College. The Bulldogs there at number 20, they move up a couple spots that they took down Ole Miss in the Egg Bowl. Northwestern, that's your Big Ten West champ at 8-4. And, and then a bunch of, frankly, iffy teams, A&M, Army, Iowa State, Fresno State. There just aren't a lot of great programs right now. There's a big, big draw. I really, beyond that top seven, if you want to include UCF, then you're looking at a bunch of two-loss teams. There are only three one-loss teams, four undefeated if you want to include UCF. Now, the buzz from Michigan is that they're all upset with Jim Harbaugh, and I've seen plenty of, tw of tweets and upset that you've got to fire Jim Harbaugh. He can't beat OSU. Let's not kid ourselves here. Michigan could end up, end up with 11 wins this year. I know it's a disappointing year. I get that. But if you're Michigan, who are you going to find that's a better coach than Jim Harbaugh? I'll, I'll, I'll gladly listen to names if you can put some good ones out there, but you're not going to lure like a Nick Saban or a Herman or anything of those guys. 
I think even though it's not ideal right now because I get it, you lost in embarrassing fashion, that's painful, it should be painful, I don't think you're going to find a better coach than Jim Harbaugh. So I know some Michigan fans don't like it. I say stick with Jim Harbaugh. There's no reason to make that change right now. Stick with Harbaugh and see if you can get some more success later on this season. All right, folks, some more uh, top 25 teams here. Again, Army, they sneak in. So now all of a sudden, by the way, it's a top 25 win for Oklahoma. So congrats there, Sooners. That helped you out, I think, in your college football playoff bid against Ohio State. Now, today's show was brought to you by Tavor. Head over, head over to Tavor.com. Sign up is free. We'll get alerted to all of their great craft beers from breweries all over the country and use promo code CHATSPORTS for $10 off your first purchase. That is Tavor.com, promo code CHATSPORTS. All right, back into the AP Top 25, just posted here on Chat Sports. We have the AP pollsters themselves, Bama, Clemson, Notre Dame. Notre Dame's in. They are in the CFP. Bama, Clemson, they have to win their conference championships, which we'll discuss here again in just a little bit. Georgia at number four. They'll take on Bama. Oklahoma at number five. They face a very tough game against the only team that beat them the Texas Longhorns, who are number nine right now in the AP poll. I think, though, they'll be a little bit lower in the college football playoff race. OSU, number six. They move way up. UCF is number seven. That gives them a slight, although not a great, chance to get into the college football playoff. But do they deserve it? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I think seven is exactly where they should be. They should be behind Georgia, behind Ohio State, behind Oklahoma, and, of course, behind the other three undefeated Power 5 programs. Now, here's the path for UCF to get in. Step one, Bama beats Georgia big. It's not supposed to matter, but point differential has clearly mattered for the committee this season. So that takes out, they that takes out Georgia. Texas takes on Oklahoma. I think that would eliminate Oklahoma. At that point, you need Northwestern to beat Ohio State. If those three teams win, I think that's going to be enough for an undefeated, of course, assuming UCF team to get in as that fourth program. That's a, that's a tough task, and I have a tough time seeing all three of those teams win, but that's your chaos scenario for UCF to get in to the college football playoff. The Huskies at number 10, they are ahead of Washington State, but despite the worst record, thanks to the head-to-head -head matchup. Florida there, they are at number 11. They might be maybe your best chance for another SEC school if you're gonna get totally chaos here, but they're there at nine and three. They might get to a New Year's Six Bowl. LSU, maybe not. They lost to Texas A&M. Penn State, they're there at 9-3. West Virginia, 8-3. Not quite the year that, that the Mountaineers wanted, but a good year nonetheless. UK at 9-3. Utah fighting Washington in the Pac-12 title game for a chance to make it to the old Rose Bowl this year. Syracuse, number 18. Boise, number 19. Mississippi State at number 20. Northwestern at number 21. They win. How crazy would this be and how bad this would, would this be for, for TV? Northwestern takes down... Uh, Ohio State, Utah wins, and you've got Northwestern versus Utah in the Rose Bowl. That would be a complete and utter disaster, I think, from the bowl perspective. a &M, Army, Iowa State, Fresno round out your top 25. Let's preview now the SEC title games. Alabama, Georgia. Well, I got Bama, and this one should be a fantastic matchup. Two great programs. Winners in the CFP, but if Bama wins, I, or if Bama loses, I still think they're going to find their way in. A two-loss Georgia team. I don't see getting in above Oklahoma, above Ohio State. So it's winning in for Georgia. Alabama might already be in. All right, next up, the Big Ten. Northwestern and Ohio State. OSU, they slept for two months and then woke up against Michigan. We'll see if that continues against Northwestern. Northwestern's had a great year. They're 8-4, and four, even though it's been kind of a weird year in the Big Ten West. But give me the Buckeyes. I think it's a no-brainer. I think I got Ohio State by 20 or more. I think they come up prepared. Northwestern hangs around early, as teams, are, teams often do in title games, but I got the Buckeyes big. Next up, the Big 12 title game, Texas and Oklahoma. That's going to be a close one, I think. The Red River rematch. The last time these two teams played twice in the same season, Oklahoma wasn't even a state yet. Now, Oklahoma here has a chance to get into the CFP with a win. I think if they get a win, provided Bama wins, I think the Sooners are in. Texas, of course, wants to play spoiler, wants to get the 10 wins and secure a big 12 title under Tom Herman. It'll be a great game. I don't trust the Sooners' defense, but I do trust Kyler Murray quite a bit. So it'll be close, but as of right now, I'm leaning towards Oklahoma. Much like the Big 10 title game, ACC kind of a clunker. Clemson against a 
pretty bad pit team. ACC is not good except for Clemson. Now, I got Clemson winning, but remember, Pitt has done this before. Remember 2016? Nathan Peterman at the helm. They take down the Tigers. I got Clemson winning, but I think Pitt, much like Northwestern, will hang around early on in the game. Then Pac-12, which in reality doesn't really matter all that much for the CFP in that, in, in that perspective. Washington versus Utah. I got Washington. I think they're a better football team. Utah's played well, but they're a bit banged up right now. Give me the Huskies in a game that really doesn't matter for the overall national picture. But hey, our trip to the Rose Bowl is always worth playing for. And then one more that matters for the CFP, UCF and Memphis. UCF will not have Mackenzie Milton, unfortunately, suffered that gruesome leg injury. Was it successful for Milton? So that's some good news, but UCF will not have him at the helm. Memphis gave UCF its toughest test of the year, a narrow victory for UCF. That one, that one was on the road. This one is a neutral site game, but or it's actually going to be in Atlanta, Florida, excuse me, excuse me going to be in Orlando, Florida. My bad on that one, folks. UCF, Memphis. I will take UCF in this one despite having their backup quarterback in, but I am not going to rule out Memphis. They've put up a very good test so far this year. I don't think you can totally count out Memphis, but UCF, if they win, back-to-back -back years undefeated. At some point, they got to get some respect, right? Right? Eh, maybe not from the CFP perspective. All right, one last time here, folks. The AP Top 25, Bama, undisputed number one. They have all the first place votes. Clemson, Notre Dame, Georgia, Oklahoma, Ohio State, UCF, Michigan slides down, Texas, and Washington are your top 10. Florida, number 11. Washington State, number 12, tied with LSU. Penn State, number 14. West Virginia, number 15. UK at 16. Then it's Utah, Syracuse, Boise, and Mississippi State to round out your top 20. And then your rest of your top 25, Northwestern, a &M, Army, Iowa State, and Fresno State. That is your latest top 25.